Hello and welcome to Rick's Kits. Okay, so starting off my group builds, uh, I'm starting the uh, motorcycle group build uh, hosted by Cliff at GI Mechanic Scale Modding and co hosted by Jamie G at Jamie G Scale Model Garage. Uh, this goes from January 1st to 16th of October, I've got plenty of time to finish it. So as you can see from up here in the corner here, we have started the engine assembly. So I've completed stages uh, one, two, and almost completed three. I've got the bits for three and that down here. Um, call out for, for all of this is... Um, S29, which is X18 Tamiya uh, semi gloss black, and that's that's basically the entire engine. Um, certain areas on the engine will be picked out with X11, which is silver, uh, for the nuts and bolts, etc. Um, the only exception on here is this piece in um, the engine section on two uh, the call out on that is TS17 and I believe that is aluminium yeah it's showing as a gloss aluminium um, unfortunately I haven't got a gloss aluminium so I'm going to have to put flat flat alley and probably go over it with a bit of gloss uh, and then we're, I'm heading down here for once this is so, Painted. I've got a decal to apply down there, um, and then it will be get the orientation correct. Um, going by this one, I've got a decal to uh, decal to apply in there, just on that point there. So. Add the tubes, cut off the lengths as per the instructions there. Um, two dots of 60s and a 55. Now, you know, again, I'm gonna I'm gonna apologise my head off here. I have absolutely no idea what this engine is. What I think it's head on the box. It's a four-cylinder, 998 cc engine. You know, I I like I like bikes. I say I like bikes. I like so I like the look of certain bikes. I'm not into bikes, but I like certain look of bikes, which is you know why I chose to be in this uh, group build. Again, like I say, I apologise. I really, really, to be honest with you, I don't know what I'm building as far as mechanicals and engines and things like that is I really don't know all I know is it's a yeah <laughs> excuse me is a Yamaha head YZFR1M I just like the colouring of it the style of it so like I said I apologise to all you motorbike throttle heads etc don't know if that's what you call yourself you guys you know you bikers and this, this is your field of uh Expertise as opposed to mine, so I just hope I do the bike justice and get to the end, and and, and it's a reasonable looking bike. Uh, so after my foray into the engine, uh, um, it's then starting the uh, frame, and a part of that is supposed to be, I think, is. Looking on the um, on the box, I'm not sure if it's oh, it's not the frame. It's it's the fairing stuff that goes around the frame. That's fine. I'm starting to get a bit concerned then because uh, part of this kit to make it look potentially authentic is I bought some. Album pattern uh, decal pine to go over the areas on the model which are supposed to be carbon fiber because they don't include this in the kit in any form, decal or whatever. 
and the kit isn't or they, the fairings and stuff don't even look as if they're you know um carbon fiber or the pattern or anything on there um but yeah getting a bit concerned then i thought well, i was having to do it all around this frame it was going to drive me nuts and i might have ended leaving it off in the end but that's fine so i'm okay with that uh, i haven't got any other of the add-ons like the uh i think it's the fork set um when i worked it out for what they wanted it was almost the same price as the actual kit itself and i thought well, no. yeah so that's where i'm headed to and uh, at the moment I'm having fun but I've got to put some paint on this stuff and uh, I'll come back to you here in a bit okay so uh, here we are back again um, and this is what I've got what I should have so I've taken poetic license down here with where the uh, TS-17 should be, which is uh, gloss aluminium, and I've put titanium silver down there instead. Uh, I think it stands out a little bit more. Yes, it's not what the original should be, but, <clears throat> you know, it is what it is. Uh, I painted in all the, just about see them on this engine, all the silver nuts and bolts where it's indicated in the instructions to paint them. Yeah, and we have uh, wiring on or cabling. Um, I'm going to make an assumption that this part here must we get this in. Can it? That all this area here, I think, must be frog or carburetor area um, so I'm assuming that these are either breathers or some sort of uh, fuel lines probably 100% wrong <clears throat> I don't know uh, and we got another so this one's 50 mil and these two are 60 I have the Get in on it. Nearly. We have a decal there. And we have the Yamaha decal on the oil filter. So that's the first three sections on the kit so far. Uh, like the other stuff couple of motorbikes that I've done, it's enjoying, I'm enjoying it, it's what it's all about, have fun, all your group builds, do as many group builds as you want over the year, but me, I was sticking to a couple, uh, that's it for this one, um, about eight minutes and I've blabbered on for quite a while, so thanks for watching, thanks for supporting my channel, all you new guys that have subscribed just recently, thank you very much. I do appreciate you you tuning in and thinking that uh, I do content that you actually like. So I really do appreciate that. To all my old subscribers, love you guys dearly. Thank you for hanging in there. Um, here's to 2024. I'll see you in the next update. Bye for now.